Anna Provo Bullard, the Museum Education Coordinator for the Chatham-Kent Museum. For many years, historically minded people and the Kent Historical Society wanted a museum to preserve our pioneering past. In 1943, they got their wish when the children of Emma and Robert Milner donated the family home to become our museum. During the year of 1944, artifacts were collected and in October of 1945, the City and County Museum, called the Chatham-Kent Museum as we still know it today, opened its doors to the public. During those early years, the museum was very much a cabinet of curiosity. It featured the strange, the scary, and the exotic from around the world and right here at home. I'm sure that many of you remember class trips to the old house to see the mummy, the weapons from the wars, china dolls, and a suit of armor. The museum was a wonderful source of entertainment. Today, as we approach the 75th anniversary of the Chatham-Kent Museum, we are still a source of entertainment, but we are so much more. School children still come on class trips, but they receive more than just the standard guided tour. Our education programs are designed to supplement teachers' lessons plans and follow the provincial curriculum. We promote lifelong learning for all of our citizens and visitors alike through our fall and winter lecture series. Our speakers entertain us on a variety of local history interests as well as national history topics. We host special events with an historical theme such as dinners where we get to eat our way through history, openings for exhibits, or family events around pop culture with a time traveling theme. In 1988, the museum was able to expand our exhibits, collection, and research when we moved to the addition on the Cultural Center. The move ensured the Chatham-Kent Museum was able to meet modern professional standards. Our exhibits rotate to feature local history and interests. Over the years, we have had exhibits from the Royal Ontario Museum, other community museums, and the War Museum in Ottawa to supplement the exhibits created in-house by our professional staff. We still collect Kent County history, and with our new exhibit, Out in the Open, we are better able to share with you on how we preserve our local history for generations to come. There are many different ways to reach us. You can go online to the Municipality of Chatham-Kent's webpage and find us there, or on Facebook under the Cultural Center, or just pop in. We're open every single day from 1 to 5.